Hello and welcome to Study Buzz. Today I will be talking about a very famous short story, Girls, written by Mrinal Pandey. So let's start our discussion with some details about the author. The writer Mrinal Pandey was born in 1946 at Tikhamgar, Madhya Pradesh. She was the editor of the popular women's magazine Vama from 1984 to 1987 and is currently the executive director of the Hindi edition of Daily Hindustan. She has studied English, Sanskrit literature, uh, ancient Indian history, archaeology, classical music and visual arts. Her first story was published in the Hindi weekly Dharam Yog at the age of 21. She writes both in Hindi and English and has authored many short stories, novels and drama. Her major works include The Subject is Woman published in 1991, That Which Ram Hath Ordained 1993, My Own Witness 2001, Devi Tales of the Goddess 2000 and Stepping Out published in 2003. Girls, the story we are uh, talking about, we are discussing. It was published in 1983 in Dharam Yog and the English translation in the same year was published in a journal named Manoshi which writes about women and society. Okay, now let's uh, begin with the summary of the story. The story is narrated by an eight-year-old girl, Lali. Lali, the central character, is the second daughter of a middle-class family in an Indian society. The story deals with the way girls are treated in Indian society. The story begins with the protagonist Lali, a little girl, who leaves home to go to her mother's parental house. For Lali, her mother is a very irritable woman. For her mother, everything is a problem. She has three daughters and going through her fourth pregnancy, and she hopes that she will give birth to a baby boy this time so that she will be rid of the nuisance of going through another pregnancy. Lali and her family go to Nani's house for the last months of pregnancy. When they reach the station, Lali's mother has to deal with, with many things. She has to take care of her three children as well as the luggage. The family purchases samosas at one of the stations but the girl couldn't eat it because she saw a woman making her child pee through the window. Lali tries to scare her younger sister by crushing a piece of potato into the shape of an insect. Lali's elder sister, who loves her very much, scolds her and calls her a nuisance. When they reach to the final station, they find Mama, maternal uncle, is waiting there to receive them. When she enters Nani's house, she is told to bend down and touch Nani's feet. When she tries to do it, someone rectifies her, saying, Not like that. Bend properly. You are born a girl and you will have to bend for the rest of your life. Girl child is always a nuisance for her ma. She keeps on complaining about her girl children. The family talks of delivering a boy this time. For Nani, it is a matter of safeguarding her honor. She folds her hands and prays, O oh Goddess, protect my honor. At least this time, let her take a son back from her parents' home. For Ma, giving birth to a, to a boy is all about relieving herself from the burden of delivering for, delivery forever. The story shows the inferiority of, of being a woman. Lali's mother calls her a witch when she comes to know that she has eavesdropped the conversation of Ma and Mami. 
Ma gets angry with her when she insists Hari's mother on saying that girls are nice. Mother remarks, she was born only to plague my life. The next day, on the occasion of Ch on the occasion of Chaitanya Shukla Ashtami, day of the Hindu calendar when young girls are worshipped as the living incarnation of Devi, a tikka of red powder is put on the girls' foreheads. The arti ceremony is done by waving the sacred flames around their faces, and prasad is is distributed to all the participating women. Lali refuses to put Tikha on her forehead. Ma gets angry with her and shouts at her. When the elders try to force her to obey, the girl retorts, When you people don't love girls, why do you pretend to worship them? I don't want this halwa puri, Tikha or money. I don't want to be a goddess. So this is the, the, this is the summary of the story. Now let us talk about analysis of the story. The story tells us about the unjustified idolatry of male child in an Indian society. Indian families always prefer male children as they are supposed to be the breadwinners and caretakers of the family. Women feel honored when they give birth to a male child. A girl child is considered as a burden on family. Despite of all the modernization and progress, Indian society continues to victimize girl children and they are looked down as the inferior or we can say that they are considered as others. The story also presents the general mindset of people who take it as a compulsion to give birth to a, be to a boy to stop bearing children anymore. Girls in Indian families are told to be submissive. They are not respected or even acknowledged as boys are. The story is told from a little girl's perspective and is it effectively brings out the actual feelings of a girl child when she is discriminated in her own family. For Ma, her children are always creating problems. The little girl's cry and anguish at the end of the story gives voice of all the girls in Indian society. It shows the pain of being discriminated. In a society where girls are treated as a burden and a, and a problem for their, for their parents, they are worshipped as goddess for one day. Viewing the girls as Devi for one day shows the hypocritical nature of the rituals in our society. It is contrasted to the subjugation of girls happening every moment. Rituals in itself have become a formality. The whole story is a wake-up cry of the narrator and the author on behalf of all the girls in India to realize the value of girls and the respect and the care they need from their own home. So now you can see that uh, this short story by Manal Pandey basically talks about the place of women in the society and the place of women within the family. The story clearly, uh, clearly reflects on the issue of male child preference. So it has many themes like I have mentioned some of the themes here. Male child preference as we can see it clearly uh, with, uh, with the protagonist mothers. She hopes in her fourth pregnancy she hopes that she will have a baby boy this time. Women as inferior uh, and discrimination with girl child. The story also talks about the discrimination with girl child. It shows uh, women or girls as the inferior one and male as the superior. And the next one, the, the next theme of the story is operation of the women by the women. This story clearly talks about the operation of the women by the women because the girl 
the the protagonist the central character is oppressed and is made to feel inferior within her family the next is status of women devi or burden now this story uh, also presents the uh, the general mindset of mindset of people it talks about the hypocritical nature of the rituals that gives uh, that shows the the girls as goddess but it is in contrast to the real uh, real situation where girls are treated as burden so the story talks about the real place of women whether the whether the girl is a devi or she is a burden now the next is discrimination within the family this story clearly talks about this discrimination with the girl child within the family and and with uh, and in the society also and the last one is the gender bias this uh, story talks about the gender biasness in the society okay that's it for the uh, for this lecture Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe my channel.